Hello everyone. This is image 4 for the Summer Interpretation Seminar course for D3 students at the University of Minnesota. These images will create the basic knowledge for intraoral radiographic interpretation exercise in the fall and spring semester. Let's spend 5 to 6 minutes on this single periapical radiograph. So we have one periapical radiograph from the mandibular right posterior region. When you read a radiograph, it seems that you are being a detective. This sad looking tooth must have left a lot of clues for us to make a diagnosis. So let's compare this crown to the incompletely formed crown. The size of these two teeth are similar. The striking finding is in the root. The bifurcation is almost at the apical third. How about the pulp chamber? It's also almost to the middle third of the root. We know that a normal pulp chamber is usually inside the crown. One more finding. How about the constriction of the CEG? There is none. So you must have figured out the diagnosis is torodontia. So what are the radiographic features? We saw a large pulp chamber. We also saw that the pulp floor is displaced almost towards the apex. The bifurcation or trifurcation is only a few millimeter from the epices. And there is no constriction at the CEG. Torodontia was first described about 100 years ago in 1908. Most of the torodontia is seen in the permanent molars. Frequently, you will see torodontia on both sides. There are several syndromes where a patient may have torodonts. Different studies have shown geographic difference in the prevalence of torodontia. In a study done in India, about 2.5% of the population had torodontia, while some areas in Iran has as high as 23%. The management of torodontia is simple. For most patients are asymptomatic. No treatment is needed. Because the pulp chamber is large, if you are doing a root canal treatment, that could become challenging. Torodontia is classified into three types. A mild or hypotorodont is where the pulp chamber is large. A moderate or mesotorodont is where the pulp chamber and the bifurcation is almost at the middle third of the root. The severe or hypertorodont is at the apical area. These are a few papers that are helpful as further reading about torodontia. Thank you very much. I'll see you again with another video.